What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be installing a car seat in the Model 3. Uh, so we'll kind of put in two parts. The first part will be about installing a car seat in the Model 3 in general. And the second part, uh, Stephanie will talk to you about the actual car seat that we bought and <laughs> why she picked it and all that good stuff. So timestamps will be below. Enjoy the video. All right, disclaimer, we have no idea what we're doing. We have never installed a car seat before. So we're gonna do our best to follow the directions, but after that, we're gonna schedule an appointment and go to the local fire station or police station and have it professionally checked by someone who does know what they're doing so we're 100% sure that it's installed correctly and safe and that's what you should do too. Let's see, all right, all the parts of the car seat. So in the back seat, it's suggested you put the car seat in the middle. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, you can see down here, all along the back, there's these car seat symbols. Um, so that probably means something. Probably means a car seat can go there. All right, so the first thing we got to do is the base. Comes out of the base. Ta -da! Oh look, it has directions right there. All right. So. Which way is rear facing? I forget. I just it. Yeah, I think that's rear facing. There's so many images, I'm confused. Do you want to brush this off so it doesn't get plugged dirty? All right, so we're just going to put it in for now uh, without any kind of cover. And maybe leave a comment if you know about something we should add to protect the seats. All right, I think I already did it wrong. This is rear facing. All right. According to the picture. And again, we're going to get it double checked by the fire department when we're done. So the first thing is remove latch hooks from storage location. So are they stored away in the Tesla? Where are they at? Right uh, here, I feel it. Yeah? Does it move out? Is that what it says? It just says... Oh, nope. I was reading the wrong thing. These are in a storage location. I'm so confused already. It's removed. Yep. So, what's step number two? Make sure latch strap is in the rear facing belt path. Marked with blue label. So look at the bottom. I see no blue label. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? Is it on the inside? Yeah, it's on the inside. Okay. So what is it And it's it going say? through there? Yes, it is. It's going through there. It is. All right. Cool. All right, and then extend the latch strap to its maximum length by pressing the gray button and pulling on the strap. I tried to do that. Oh, do you need to... more room? I can move the seat up. Yeah. That would be helpful. This is really difficult to do. Let's extend it all the way. All right. I closed the book. Why? Because I was killing a mosquito. Center the base between the lower latch anchors. Okay. So that's the little symbols, right? Yeah, it's okay. centered there. So we got it centered. Check the rear facing level line. Bam, right there. You gotta make sure that red line is level on the seat. I'm level with the ground. Alright, it's level with the ground. Alright, connect latch hooks to vehicle's lower latch anchors. Those are the things you felt. So those don't come out. There's the hook. We gotta latch that into on the back seat where those little baby symbols are. But it's hooked into this. Oh, gotta unhook it. Why am I doing all this? So, so far, the Tesla portion, <laughs> this is just turning into baby seat video, um, but the Tesla makes it very easy. The labels of where those hooks are for the baby seats are really obvious. Uh, so Stephanie found those immediately, even before she knew how to put the seat in. Yep. Is That's probably not to, Tesla specific. This is like legit the same type of material they use for the plain seat belts. Just throwing that out there. Wow, that's not gonna go to the other side. That's super safe. Yes. You got it. Yep. Now I need you to pull up the driver's seat. Okay. Good thing that one remembers. You'd survive even if it didn't. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> now I'm spoiled. Wow, there's so much room back in the back seat. So here's. Here's another view 
the back seat just has tons of room now that the seats are pulled up. Um, I probably couldn't drive in that position, but look at all that room on the floor. There's Thanks just the tons of room down there. All right, so we tightened the strap, and now we're done. Oh, that's not good. So you got to tighten it until it doesn't move, right? Yeah, it's only allowed to move an inch. Oh, well, that, yeah, that's definitely more than an inch. That's like as tight as it's gonna go. Okay, that's better. It's not gonna ruin your seats, right? Well, that's why <laughs> that's why I wanted to cover, but maybe we'll just redo it. So that's it. Right now we can clip the thingy in here. Yep, attach the car seat to base. Wow. Cool, that was easy. And then check this out. You still got room for an adult. Kind of. I mean, you have to really be close to this, but obviously people aren't back here very often, and if you're in a pinch, it does fit. Jeez, I think that's that's it. I think we made that more complicated than it was. That was like, what's this little thing? That was super easy. This is for the baby. No. So as far as installing a car seat, it was like super simple. The car makes it easy. It labels, you know, where the anchor points are. I'm sure every modern car does that, but... This is the car we have. Just wanted to try it out. Uh, that was, like I said, very simple. So that's really all Tesla related. I'm gonna let Stephanie kind of talk about this car seat if you're interested and why she picked it. So let's hear what you have to say. The car seat that we ended up going with is the Snug Ride 30 Graco Click Connect. Um, super popular type of car seat. They have a bunch of different ones like the Snug Ride 35 and the Snug Ride 40. The main reason we went with this car seat is because it's compatible with the stroller that we wanted and the stroller was much harder to find. I wanted to find a car seat that I knew would work with it. Of all the car seats that were compatible with that stroller, this one had some of the best reviews and it was a reasonable price because you can get car seats that are crazy expensive like two hundred three hundred dollars for the car seat and this one was not nearly that much i have a friend who checks car seats for a living and she said that all the car seats that they're all um tested impact tested and accident tested so they're all safe regardless of the price like the car seat is as long as it meets the standards like the baby's going to be safe when you spend more money, you're paying more for convenience. Also, it being really lightweight was important to me. I think that when I take this out, I think it's like seven pounds, maybe 10 pounds. And that was one of the lightest ones I could find because when you have a baby in here and you're carrying and lugging this thing around, I wanted it to be as lightweight as possible and as easy to move around. Do my outro. What's your outro? Whatever you want it to be like. Thanks for watching. See you next time or something. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Whatever you want. What did I say? Anything you want. Just like, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one or whatever. If you have any questions, leave them below. See you next time. Well, now we're going to head out and get this checked to make sure that it is actually safe before we take it to the hospital and hope you enjoy it and we'll see you next time. Perfect. I gave